AI is supposed to transform everything, right? Well, there's one place where it's still hardly making a dent, the enterprise. 20% of our GDP is still wasted on inefficient manual processes. The average knowledge worker has to deal with over 17 different applications every single day and spend over two and a half hours daily just updating systems of record. And let's be honest, AI tools generally stink right now. There's proliferation of AI co-pilots, assistants, hundreds of them seemingly every month. But they do very simple things, and they're too siloed and tool and ecosystem specific to actually automate complex tasks. So I teamed up with the best and the brightest out of Berkeley and Stanford to do something about this. I started my first company, Coverity, out of my Stanford CS PhD, scaling automated defect detection across millions of lines of code in the enterprise. I joined forces with Kurt Koitzer, longtime AI professor right here at UC Berkeley, and Amir Golami, my CTO and co-founder, who's a senior researcher at the UC Berkeley AI Research Lab. And they led the research behind Narada, presenting it at the leading AI conferences in the world. And two years ago, when everybody was focused on large language models that generate content or answers, we worked in stealth with enterprise design partners to develop large action models, where just by chatting with it, it actually generates actions and executes complex tasks in the workplace. And we took a fundamentally different approach. We didn't believe that the right solution was to train and build a bigger and bigger LLM to do these complex tasks. Why? Because what happens if the models hallucinate or takes a slightly wrong turn on step 12 out of a 30-step process? You're stuck. That error is going to compound and propagate throughout the rest of the task, and the reliability is going to be super low. So we took a completely new and different approach to solve this problem. And based on over 800 customer calls that we did to identify the gaps in the pain, we developed what we call the LLM compiler. It takes a different approach. We take complex tasks, and the first thing that we do is we divide and conquer. We break it down into many, many smaller steps. Now, each of those steps can now be routed to an LLM or a large action model that can do that step very, very well. But more importantly, by breaking it down into many smaller steps automatically, we can incorporate unit testing, validation, guardrails, exception handling, error handling. So if there's any error or hallucination that happens, we nip it in the bud versus letting it propagate throughout the rest of the task. And now we're working with some of the largest enterprises in healthcare, finance, back-end billing uh, processes, collections. And we have really the first evidence that large action models can work in production at scale, delivering high reliability and robustness. We're also being actually used under the hood, and I can't talk too much about this, by some of the leading AI automation and even RPA companies, where they're hitting a roadblock. Their static, rigid, hard-coded automations aren't scaling. So now, they're taking us into some of their largest customers, leveraging Narada under the hood, Ten seconds. to actually drive agentic automation across these complex uh, uh, processes. Thank you. Okay, so I'll jump right in. Um, super interesting, by the way, great job, and super timely, uh, because I, I just saw this stat recently that 80% of POCs in the enterprise with LMs have failed in 2024, which is a massive number, right? 80% failure on POCs. And clearly, we know that a lot of the problems that we're facing at the enterprise with implementing those tools have to do with quality, guardrails, hallucinations, and so on and so forth. But the way you describe it, it sounds like um, sort of an agentic, if you will, platform, right? Because you can do multi-step workflow, more complicated use cases. And that kind of puts you in competition with pretty much every LLM company out there. So how are you thinking about that, right? Like everybody's building agentic um, uh, tools and, 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 you know, sort of uh, uh, infrastructure to build agents, and you're doing that as well. What 
clearly differentiates you from all the other guys who are building that stuff? That's an excellent question. And those two things that you mentioned are actually correlated. A lot of companies have tried and failed after burning through hundreds of millions of dollars trying to build general purpose models that try to work on all tools and all websites and so on. In order to deliver robustness and reliability, you need to go deep. So instead of trying to boil the ocean, we started with some of the most common enterprise applications, ServiceNow, Workday, Salesforce, and if the ROI is high enough, even custom applications that have no APIs. There's no way to automate it but to basically make AI mimic what a human being does. And instead of trying to go general purpose, we went deep. We said, how do you get models from performing at 60% reliability, how do you get it to 99%, even higher than that, right, with domain-specific unit testing and error handling along the way? And those are some of the last mile problems that we spent most of our time on. And I'll give you one example of that, right? People have models that kind of work. One out of, you know, maybe five out of six times they work. But in the enterprise, everything's fluid. Interfaces are constantly changing. Requirements are constantly changing. And anytime something small like that changes, these models either break or they hallucinate. But thanks for the great question. Yeah, thank you for the answer. Yeah. That was great. So really appreciate the presentation. Also love that you highlighted your background and your co-founder's background. That was really helpful as um, you delve deeper into it. I would love to understand more about the, the go-to-market. You mentioned a couple of different industries. You mentioned a few different partners. Maybe you can walk us through one of those so we can better understand the solution and maybe even uh, kind of double down on the, the previous question. Great question. So I've done this before. Selling direct to large enterprises, especially if you're a new company or a startup, it'll take you a year just to go through the paperwork and the review process. Um, so what we're doing, now that I'm a little bit older with more gray hair, I want scale and leverage. So we're basically leveraging channel partners, like some of the leading RPA companies, some of the leading AI automation companies that are basically fast-tracking us and taking us directly into their existing install bases and customers. And essentially, uh, we're licensing our agentic cloud platform to those channels to actually deliver uh, our models. That's number one. Our second go-to-market is we, we have some of the leaders in collaboration, communications, and sales enablement platforms. They already have millions of users. They tried building this themselves and failed. They tried using other companies. And just like you said, POC, oh, works well. Demos, looks perfect. As soon as they tried using it in production, it did not work. So now they're leveraging Narada under the hood. You don't see us, but we're actually the agentic reasoning execution engine under the hood for some of the leading platform and application companies that's already servicing millions of users. I'd love to learn more about the specific use cases that you're seeing in market with your partners that are AI RPA companies. Mm -hmm. Where are you finding the most success? That's right. Obviously, there's numerous use cases, but you've got to focus and you've got to start somewhere, establish the beachhead. So there's uh, use cases specifically around billing, order processing, fulfillment, or even accounts payable and collections. So we're, for example, working with a Fortune 500 customer. They're basically automating the collections process. They have thousands of customers not paying and using their service. Right now, or before Narada, they had 60 people manually looking at every customer communications trying to decide how do we get these guys to pay. Sometimes you have to go into SAP, pull the invoice, Look at the invoice. Sometimes you have to go to the CRM to say, has the account team given them a discount that I don't know about? This whole process that involves not just many steps, but many different ecosystems and tools, and even tools like High Radius for collections, they don't expose an API, even though they have thousands of customers. We're able to agentically reason about and actually derive the plan and actually execute that plan across that entire flow. One more case which is growing for us. We have some of the leading healthcare and human capital management portals that have a problem of testing. They have thousands of customers. Every customer parameters are different. The flows and what they see within their portal is different for every one of their customers. They, it takes an army of people manually testing it. They're actually transforming that entire process with Narada. 
where Nara actually mimics what a human tester does, looks at hundreds of test cases in a spreadsheet, and is able to operate those complex platforms agentically. That's all the time we have, unfortunately. That was really great. Thank you so much. Thank you.